Welcome back to Whisk Creek Workshop. My name is Yuchel. Today we're going to make a couple of small diameter boring bars that go on these two boring heads. Let's take a quick look at the design. Uh, this is uh, roughly what the boring bar will look like. Right here is going to be half inch diameter. I'm going to take this down to uh, 0.3125 which is 5 16th and that portion will be roughly 1.4 inches. This portion, thicker portion, will be one and a half and we'll have a 8th inch height speed steel going at 45 degrees and uh, I shamelessly stole the features from Stefan's, uh, Stefan Gottsfinter's uh, boring bars that he uh, he has a really cool video on YouTube on how he made it uh, so just like him I'm gonna put the height speed steel at 45 I'm gonna drill this out and put an eighth inch uh, drill rod in there to tighten that with a set screw on the back now um, so that'll fit on my Criterion 2 inch boring head because that has half inch uh, diameter hole. I forgot to mention, uh, we have to drill this at 45 degrees, uh, but remember because we have two different diameters, we're going to have to be holding way out here and uh, there's going to be a lot of deflection. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, take this down to the 5 6 inch diameter just maybe like half an inch or so uh, and keep this at half inch all the way here and then we'll drill and we'll come back to the lathe and finish dimensioning this uh, I'm just afraid that if we dimension this uh, diameter all the way that we may not get the 45 degrees here I could be worrying too much Probably am. I don't know. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll see. We're going to start with half inch W1 drill rod. This is a Criterion 2 inch. It's a perfect fit. So that portion, we're just going to leave it alone. It's a piston fit. In fact, you just push it in and it just So we'll start with that. This will be the end that goes into the boring head. Let's chem for that. This will be the tool end. So we'll chamfer that at 45 degrees and then we'll use that surface to drill. Okay, let's go to the mill. All right, we got this set up on a collet block, grabbing as short as we can to minimize deflection. Now you can see how if we had uh, neck this down longer, it would be sticking out that much far and uh, just wouldn't be very stable. So we're gonna start with the world's tiniest center drill. All right, we'll go to a bigger step, a uh, bigger uh, center drill. All right, we're gonna drill with 0.12 drill bit, and we'll ream out the rest. This is 0.125 reamer. We'll definitely need to use uh, oil. I took this to a uh, stone and soften the edges oh yeah it fits <laughs> okay let's start machining it down we're gonna go right where the tool is let's uh, choke it down a bit
let's chamfer that a bit. We don't, we're not gonna leave a 90 degree uh, transition there. I don't like that. There's a little lip. Let's take this and uh, finish it off. Okay, I've been drilling for a bit and then I realized I forgot to hit the record button. He didn't miss much. I drilled about an inch. Just backing out often because uh, small drill, not a whole lot of place for chips to go. We're going to drill and tap the end for 1024. 1024. That should be good size. The drill bit size will be 25, number 25. Bigger than the eighth inch hole that's there. I'd say let's uh, go half an inch. Okay, this is 1 8 inch, um, what is that, 01 tool steel, obviously soft state, we're going to machine a 45 degree and that's what's going to clamp down on the high speed steel tool, tool, uh, tool bit. Alright, I quickly assembled it and took it to the grinder and... I hope I can show it ground the uh, tool bit. It's so tiny it's hard to see to grind. I just got done heat treating these but before I did that I made a slight design change. Earlier you saw this angle was an abrupt 45. Well I made a I ground up a new cutting tool and uh, ended up radiusing where those two surfaces meet. Uh, I didn't want a stress point, so the transition's more gentle. And this time I used uh, stainless steel tool wrap. Basically, it is a stainless steel foil, 2000s thick. And uh, you wrap these in that, put a small piece of paper, so. Uh, when you heat treat, the paper ignites, consumes the oxygen inside that bag basically and it reduces the amount of oxygen that comes in contact with the surface. So there really was no scaling. Uh, I'll include some pictures but basically uh, all I had was discoloration. So I chucked it up on a lathe and took a scotch bright pad and few seconds and they came out this beautiful color so let's put it together and uh, see what they do Okay, let's try this out. This is the Criterion uh, 2 inch boring head. This is my practice piece. It was previously bored for some other reasons. Uh, I lined it up as best as I can. Um, and uh, I took a test cut. It's touching most of the way around, but it'll be good for a practice piece. All right. This is a thousand RPM.
finish is pretty good. This one, I left the tip of the cutting tool sharp. I didn't put a radius on it. Just wanted to experiment. The other one has a little bit of a radius. Let's see. Pretty nice. All right, let's try this on the steel. Now, hold this size on a steel is really not uh, what these bars are intended for. These are small bars, small diameter, uh, so it's not the most rigid setup. Uh, if you have a diameter this big, you should use something more substantial. But we'll just see how it does on the steel. It works. Okay, let's try the other one. Let's try that on the uh, aluminum. I'm glad I finally got around to making these. They're going to be really handy for uh, small diameter holes and if you need to, um, you can uh, grind a special profile on these uh, tool bits uh, like an o-ring groove or whatnot. So they're going to be really handy. Um, anyway, I really appreciate you sticking around and watching. Please like and subscribe.